it just kept dinging all day long, and that's why I carried uh, my, an extra charger with me. Judy Cochran has a class reunion coming up next month. Let's see, I have five new comments. Her classmates she stays in touch with on Facebook are finding it hard to believe the quiet girl in their class of 32 killed this. This is what I killed on Monday, and several wrote back, no, you did not do that. And I said, yes, I did do that. But Judy says you never know where life might take you. The grandmother, traveler, and avid Astros fan did something else earlier this year she never thought she'd do. She became mayor of Livingston. But Monday, she got the big one, 12 feet long, 580 pounds, at their family ranch along the Trinity River. One shot in the head, and he just went under. Typically, they'll do a, what they call a death roll and just roll over and over and over. Well, this one didn't. The gator could be responsible for a missing animal from the ranch. Three years ago, we came up uh, missing a, a miniature horse, and they're about so big, about like a big lab. Polk County is one of a few core counties where you can only kill a gator 20 days of the year. It must be baited and caught first. The Texas Parks and Wildlife window is open now. The gator is now at the local taxidermist, where its head and tail will be mounted. The body shall have made into boots. The mayor and grandma can add one more title to a resume, Gator Hunter. And the moral of the story? I said, don't mess with Nana. My grandchildren call me Nana. In Livingston, Christine Dobbin, 13 Eyewitness News.